No, wait a minute. We lost like 10 people. Well, I don't know. I know at least 10. I wasn't paying the closest attention. Well, we went, we went from like 30 to 5. Well, so we're back to the intro. <laughs>
Afro guy. <laughs> and he goes, what? Anthrocon, my most horrific convention memory ever. Well, what's that? Um, well, it's a convention held by Okage. Well, we know what it is. Okay. Anthrocon, 2009, I went up with some friends. We had an individual, uh, one of the performers, sleeping in our room with us. And this guy, he's the kind of person that you want to fall asleep before <laughs> they do. Because if they fall asleep before you do, your thoughts, dreams, and aspirations of that finishing that dream that you had yesterday, or maybe having it again and figuring out, what did that mean? Ain't gonna happen. Because this guy, this was him. He was drifting off of some five minutes. Seven minutes. I swear to God. The curtains moved. I saw stuff fall from the ceilings. I couldn't sleep. It just, it just wasn't happening. So I grabbed my key card and I, I left the room. I went down to the hotel lobby and I was complaining to somebody and somebody looks at me and says, if you go to the front desk, they will give you earplugs. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. You <laughs> two. Yeah, all right. Dude, you're worrying me. What are you going to do? Don't worry about it. It'd be great. So I walk up front desk and I look at the lady and she kind of looks at me and says, What do you need? I have a woman making snores. Oh. Okay. Picks up a bag of earplugs. I have four other roommates. And she goes, And they sent you down. So she reaches into this bucket and pulls out this handful of little, and it's called, they're called green knees because unlike the little orange ones you've got, they're little squishy green things. And you stick them in your eight away for the seat. Everybody, everybody knows these things are great. It's great for like muffling out like loud, annoying parents. It's good for muffling out. Um, sorry. Um, it's good for like muffling out like. Nagging wife syndrome or nagging hey. boyfriend syndrome. <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> I'm not used to this. <laughs> Sorry! Um, it, it's, it's really great for muffling out uh, like boss and roommate syndrome. So, thank you. I got away with one. <laughs> this one. I was like, here's this one. Hey! This one. Hey, I can't wait to get it. So, there we go. I get back up to the room and everybody's sound asleep. Oh, we've got those 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 free snores. Everybody knows the different types of snores, right? There's a I think you're gonna cut down a damn tree. There's the and I never thought this was a real snore until I heard it firsthand. What I like to refer to as the free students snore that <laughs> Okay, Shen. <laughs> You've got that joke. You're old like me. So. <laughs> hey, they still run in reruns. <laughs> reruns. Okay. <laughs> Just lower your test. Oh, I grew up watching those guys on TV. Okay. Please. Um, yeah. Now, here's the fun part. is Then you have what I like to refer to as the silent snore. AKA the sonic boom snore. Because you think it's silent? Okay, okay, I can. Boom! No, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Have you ever, like, walked into an old barn or into a room when there's a mouse in there and you go, I'm watching you. Pretty much that reaction when you're trying to fall asleep and someone pipes up one of those. Because you're like, oh, I'm safe. <laughs> no. I get this earplug package and I open it up with a man and I lay back down. Alright, I'm good. 
I can, I can do it. Awesome. I think it's louder. <laughs> the curtains are moving. Stuff's falling off the ceiling. And he gets louder. Bucktown's over going. <laughs> he's been married. He, he's been married, so there's one of those. I know. And he's been to far too many cons to not know what that snore is like. <laughs> I'm safe! Um, but here I am, earplugs in hand, because I've got multiple packages on me, and I'm bored, and I know I'm not going to sleep, and so I wait for his mouth to open, Oh! <laughs> and I go, and I miss, and just bounce off his chin, and go, oh, wait, you Stop for a second. Sweet man. <laughs> <laughs> Four packages later, I've become a master <laughs> and nailing this guy's mouth. <laughs> I didn't find out until early that morning when he wakes up and he's like, oh. <laughs> I'm thinking he's like spitting these things off yeah. or coughing and they're like, Popping out of his mouth like oh, a little ping pong ball. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, he's small. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's just sitting there and bathing. Oh, oh, this is right. I did not know about this until the trip to the ER at Anthro County 2009. Oh, oh. that. He's going, wait. Buck County's back there going, is that you? <laughs> that these have a small latex coating on them. And when that latex coating is removed, when added to water, they swell to about the size of a oh, ping pong ball. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, my gosh. He's in the bathroom. Because he and I quote goes, why not pick them? <laughs> oh, matter, man. I got movement later. <laughs> and then it disappears. Here's what I hear from the bathroom. Just breathe, man. <laughs> Screw you! Just do something, man. Push. Just, I'm not having a baby! <laughs> Feels like it's long. All of a sudden, here's into the water. <laughs> I'm thinking, okay, we're in the clear. And I hear, oh, God, not a, oh. Let's do it. A little harder, man. <coughs> Seriously, I'm giving it all she's got. Thanks, God. He can, can you figure it out? <laughs> I'm really not feeling well. Can we go? I never thought I'd say this. I'm like, con. Can we go to the hospital? <laughs> it's all right. So we load up into, at the time I was driving, a little 1993 Ford. <laughs> Screwed up a line. Oh, we have a drink. Chevy Metro. Mm. Mm. And not like one of the big ones either with the, with the convertible top. No. Little fucking roller skate that you can fit in this room. Yep. Sideways? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. On this table, more than likely? <laughs> because it wasn't the four door, it was the hatchback. Oh. With two doors, and it was like. <laughs> <coughs> On the way to Ambercon, we fit nine people into that car. Don't ask. Look how gone. Sounds kind of like the trip back from Skeptic <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I hope they all know each other real well. <laughs> real uh, well. Biblically, by the end of that, by the end of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the script, no doubt. <laughs> it was from, whose hand is that? Not mine. Okay. Whose hand is that? Not mine. Okay. Whose hand is that? Oh. That's mine. <laughs> <laughs> I lost feeling in it. We get to the hospital. And, ladies. If you've ever had children, have friends who have had children.
You know this line. Lay down. We're going to put your legs up in the stirrups. And we need to practice your breathing. <laughs> when you see a 40-year-old man lay down at the table and the doctors are telling him, lay down, put your legs in the stirrups, and practice your breathing, like the nurse is showing you. I'm doing nothing but laughing. <laughs> because I know what's wrong. <laughs> you know. <laughs> now, everybody has had that cheap Christmas. It's one of those when you buy stocking stuffers, or you get like the niece or the nephew a something that they'll enjoy, but it's not gonna break my pocket. Anybody remember the little ping pong ball guns? Mm -hmm. and the goofy fucking sound they made. It. Oh, jeez. For 25 minutes, me, four other con goers, are out in the hallway listening to. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like the Queen of the Desert. <laughs> 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 laughing our ass. <laughs> I didn't do it. If this is a fine, it's not fine. You don't. <laughs> laughing our ass. Evil monkey. 